Hi guys, welcome back to Model Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. So today I headed South Philly to check out a Salvation Army and I I found some stuff. I already came, I already came back, but I did find some stuff. Um, so I'll get into that in a little bit. But I did want to share with you that Teddy Blake is having another promotion that I just wanted to make sure I mentioned today. As you know, this is kind of like one of my everyday bags I wore today. This is the Bella in the Etobe. I love this um, color. I love the style, the sleekness of it. I love the size of the 15 inch because it does hold quite a bit in here. It does come with an adjustable strap and you know, I just really, really, really love this. I love it so much that I got it in the nine inch i do keep them in their little dust bags still and i just wanted to show you um that i've worn them a few times because now that i kind of have a lot of my moving around bits to a point where it's you know i'm happy with it <laughs> and now i want to go exploring and i for a long time didn't have like the right evening bags or day to evening bags and I think these are fun for just casual like today when I just if I wanted to take less rather than carrying my 15 inch Bella um, but daytime I typically carry around a lot of stuff <laughs> but if I just wanted to like change this from um, I'm wearing this with jeans and if I just wanted to change my shoes to like a little kitten heel then this would be perfect for just grabbing drinks after I've done my errands or and I got home and I don't want to do a whole change then all I needed to do is just downsize my bag and change my shoes and I'd be good to go. I do have two other small bags because I was really looking for evening bags or day to evening type bags and so if you are in the market for um, very good quality leather bags, then I definitely say check out the Teddy Blake website. I do have a code that will get $30 off. It's TB Rache 30. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> but my other two bags that I absolutely love is this. I was, you know, when I saw that they had a lizard leather um, print, then this is definitely, and of course it does resemble the um, Hermes Kelly, but not being on the nose. I love the gold hardware on it. I do love the, um, like I said, I love the snake skin. I love just the feel of it. You know, you'll get other, um, even in the same price point, uh, cause you, you know, these are like 500 or less, you'll get bags, even more than this and they're not like properly structured these just and the thing is you'll get higher price point bags and they're not as well made as this i remember the first time i got um the bella 15 it's like the attention to detail on 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 these bags i i just can't like just even how you can see the arch, how perfectly arched this is. Um, I do. I just realized I still have my little stickers here, but you do have um, these little gold feet that will protect your bag if you have to rest it on the table. Um, but I just love, love, love this. I also got um, a navy. I was really looking for a navy last year, especially, you know, navy was like... Um, all around and it is certainly trending this year again and this time I got this in like this matte croc. I love that it's matte. It's so much chicer that they did it in a matte croc than, um, than a shiny fabric and again just the quality of the you know there's nothing <laughs> lopsided everything is just so symmetric and because you know I am a little OCD when it comes to like <laughs> symmetry so when I you know got these you can and the weight of the leather you the weight of the bag um, you just feel the quality of it as well so I 100% if you are in the market for um, a perfect like casual 
as well as evening because this I wear a lot of denim so with this and the cross body you know I just definitely it's a good size to hold phone all my daytime things if I'm not carrying a lot of stuff and then again when I am going out at night and I just want to take it as a little top handle with this little lock here I just love 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 this so definitely check out the Teddy Blake you know the the um, shape is still completely intact even though um, these are my more special bags and I take them out rarely um, I'm looking forward to wearing them again but this bag that you know I carry around and it's up and down with me a lot um, you can see there's no like deadening of the thing it still has its good shape which I love this box of shape it does have this little pop where I can um, keep it popped in if I just want to keep it nice and locked in but I usually um, end up opening it because I shove so much in there but um, I think I had one like little scratch here um, I didn't I haven't even tried getting it out but I like was coming out of the car and I um, yanked it and it, it scratched on something I'm not even sure what it scratched on but outside of that the leather is quality is great the color there's no fading on the leather um but yeah i just wanted to let you know that they are having uh uh not a little promotion going on you can use my code rushy 30 to get an additional 30 dollars off um the discounts online so definitely check out teddy blake i'll put the information in the description box and um if you're in the market definitely this is um, a very good quality bag that you're gonna love for years. Segwaying into the come thrift with me, I am really going back to my roots of thrifting before I even had a channel. When I went thrifting, I'm looking for like unique vintage and quality um, pieces. That's what I usually go out looking for. A lot of the um, known brands that I can get immediately online it's not that I wouldn't thrift them or I think they're bad brands it's just that I know that they're accessible <laughs> I'm looking for the things that are more rare and less accessible not that I won't find um, not that I won't go after certain pieces because you know there are some pieces that I've seen that are contemporary that they were so hot they sold out immediately if I find them out thrifting then you know I'd be able to get back what I didn't get to have <laughs> That's kind of the other side of thrifting, but um, I'm just going to go into the come thrift with me and then I'll come back here and I'll let you know what I got. I'm in shoes and I saw this pair of um, cow print. They're size 9, unfortunately, but I really love the cow print on this. I like the shape on the toe of this. It is by Topshop. It's also too big, but I really like that it's a flat. And I like this little slit here. These are similar to um, shoes you'd find on places like Kate and the Road, which are like really minimalist. The heel is a bit higher than I'd like for something like this. Um, but yeah, very similar clean line type of vibe with this one. I saw this um, like felt and big pocket. I kind of made something like that when I was in my... Um, fashion sewing class this type of jacket um, it is Primark and they're asking 20 for this for good old Primark <laughs> um, but yeah I just this looks like the pattern that I got for my um, sewing project which was so fun I just saw this um, men's motor jacket it's by Boohoo Man it's new with tag they're asking 50 for it however for Boohoo um, that still seems pretty high for Boohoo, so I did a quick um, Google search, and this jacket is about $35 to $40, so they are pricing it higher than it was sold retail. <laughs> so this Salvation Army is a little whack. <laughs> I knew the prices looked a little crazy, um, but yeah, I'll keep looking through and see what I can come up with. I'm in the men's section, as you can tell, um, but yeah. The beauty with having all the striped shirts that I want <laughs> is now I'm not tempted when I see them because these jumped out at me, but already I have red and white stripes, so I don't feel too bad. And I do have two green and white. This one's not 
good quality and it's a bit worn. So I am I am not tempted at these striped shirts in the men's section. Oops, blue and white. No, nope, I'm okay. <laughs> Okay, they also want twelve dollars for this. I'm telling you, this is a very high price. And I don't think it's necessarily in a high price neighborhood. This is Bonobus stretch. They want eleven for this one. Wow, interesting. So I saw these two vintage tops. Um, I really love the cropped, double-breasted on this black and white. Very versatile. It's by. Um, Toretti. They want six ninety nine. I also saw this one, nice nineteen eighties like secretary top. I love the um, paisley print that it's you know black and white and not the crazy colors. I also love this little detail right here. Um, what you call these little um, mock collars? They want nine for this. There is some wear on the collar, um, but a very, very cute top. I went through the women's tops and jeans. Um, the tops, not a lot of standalone pieces, mostly for layering. Um, yeah, so nothing really jumping out. But of course, we have a Zara. <laughs> um, they're doing it at 50%. It was $69.90 and they have it at $35. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's move on. So I did a quick run through of dresses and there's quite a bit of Zara in here, newest tag. What they've basically been doing is, um, just doing half price of the newest tag item. I do like this like creamy, um, like boat dress type thing. There's this other little one here. It's more like a linen mix. I do love the gold buttons on this. Um, it's a detachable belt, so that would be nice. They want 30 for this. But yeah, so most of the pieces that I saw were Zara. I have some vintage here. More Zara. 60. A new day. This is another Zara. Um, this was actually 109. They didn't half price this one. They did it at 40. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, it's really, if I see a color or something like, yes, it's like always Zara. So <laughs> yeah, striped dress is Zara. It's a nice linen one. Um, $30 for this one. It's an extra small, but this is a really cute one. Vintage, vintage, $12.99, not bad. Um, Zara, yeah, it's a lot of Zara pieces in here. <laughs> I love the print of this one. Um, they want 21 for this. It was originally 40 Yeah, it's nice and thin. Um, but yeah, so it's a lot. <laughs> It's, yep, also Zara. It's a lot of Zara pieces in here. This isn't Zara. It's a bit short. Um, this doesn't look like Zara. Vintage Mumui type cotton dress. Um, that's $5. It's a denim. Uh, what size is it? 100% cotton. It's size 18 women or 16 women. Um, Floral Zara, um, but yeah, so this is a dresses down there. You can see it a little better now. 39, yeah, Zara. <laughs> um, Zara, I thought I liked this blue and white stripe one. They want 30 for this, it was 79 at Zara. But yeah, Ralph Lauren, Zara. All right, I'm going to wrap up. <laughs> See what I have? I did find a mirror, so I can at least try some of the things on, well, in front.
for the haul. I did get something, even though it was crazy expensive. I also meant to say that this necklace here, um, apologies for no video last week. You will see more about this awesome, gorgeous necklace right here in the next video. I decided last week video, I'm not gonna rush it. I'm just gonna put it for next week because when I have technical difficulties, as you know, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I have set time to film and edit. And if I, you know, it ate up all my time and I still wasn't able to produce anything. And that frustrates me. And I've decided that I'm not gonna let it frustrate me this year. I just have to call it. If it cannot work, I just have to call it and move on. I was down to the wire trying to make it work. And it just, it just kept crashing. I don't know, I've checked a lot of the times my internet, it's not my internet, it's not my computer, but sometimes Adobe just crashes and I don't know what is the root cause. So I'm going to find a new strategy to edit, um, to hopefully, um, like segment how I edit and then put them together and see if that works. I'm not sure if the file was too large, even though I've done videos with a lot of stuff in it and nothing happens to crash, it just works. So I, I just don't know what happens when these technical difficulties happen. But um, apologies for last week's video. You'll see that and more information on this gorgeousness next week. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I got in the haul. First of all, you wouldn't have seen me. Um, I don't know if you, you saw me try this on. I don't think so. Um, this is an Old Navy wild leg pants. You'll always hear a lot of um, stylists, etc. say denim is denim is denim. My thing is a lot of the more mainstream, more um, expensive designer jeans, they're not made for my body type where the hips are long and square with thinner legs. I have more of a pear shape body type. So a lot, so lots of the times those um, boxier styles don't fit me. Um, but I have found that a straight leg in Old Navy fit me. So my recommendation is don't fight the brands that aren't made for you. If you can find a brand or a style within a brand that fits your body type and really flatters your body, then you just stick to that. But I saw this um, because even like Levi's, because Levi's has so many different ranges, I, I'm able to find, I think, two, the wedgie, some of the, um, the higher waisted 501s will be okay. And I think, um, I forgot which other one, but a few of them that actually fits my body type, they all just, does, just don't work for me. And I just stick to the ones that do. Um, so I really wanted to try out this Old Navy. I've worn an Old Navy boys straight leg and I wanted to see this because I love when the shape is in the front, it's a slight curve, um, not boxy, and then it's a nice straight leg. So I really wanted to see what this looks like. I have high hopes for this. And it is a petite, so it's a size six petite, and it's an extra high rise, sky high wide leg. What's that said? Secret smooth pockets. <laughs> So yeah, I have when I saw this, I had high hopes. So we'll see. The fact that it's also petite, I thought, let me try it. And it's a nice deep black, which you know always works still. Next thing I got was the Zara skirt. Now it's in a size medium, so it is, you know, this is one of them that is what I say the boxy hips because this is so wide. Um, even if it's meant to sit on the hip, I'm like, it's just there's no shape in the top. Um but you know, push come to shove, I can always um, put a dart or two in here if I need to, or just belt it and let the belt hold it onto my waist. <laughs> so I was, I was just thinking about getting a um, maxi in the dark, and this is one of the things with trends. Um, the mini skirts, there are certain mini skirts and you've seen videos where I styled mini skirts for them to look a lot more flattering. Um, but then when it's, the minute it starts getting chilly, I'm over the skirts and I go straight back to pants and jeans and whatever for the rest of the cold, um, possibly a, a maxi dress or two where I can put tights under it. But because we have the trend and I, you know, 
jump headfirst into the maxi denim trend. It's now something that I wore so much, it's a part of my regular closet. So um, if you're one of, if you're someone who think um, two ways about the trends, getting in, I think if you participate in the trends, then you might be able to discover something that works so well within your own style that the trend now becomes a part of your classic wardrobe. So I love the trends also for that. I get to discover styles that I probably wouldn't have tried in general because you know sometimes you know this the maxi skirts usually be for very minimalist um what do you call it prudish not prudish um conservative type clothing which weren't necessarily war it wasn't styled properly so we didn't gravitate to it and so now that we it became a trend and we were able to style it ourselves and do it then we're like okay I do love a maxi skirt after all in the denim. So all that to say, I got the, the Zara skirt, but it's funny. It's funny that I got the Zara skirt because I had, because I was thinking about it, I had recently gotten this Madewell one, which is not in the haul, but this is more of a midi, but you can see already the shape in the top. This is a high waisted, but you can still see the shape here, um, which will be more flattering than the boxy, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Next up, I got the colorless jacket. I do love the gold buttons and I just love how casual it is. It would be a nice throw on now that it's, I mean, it was warmer last week and then it got chilly again this week. So we're getting into <laughs> spring weather and for, you know, um, lighter um, days, I can still just throw this on over a t-shirt and jeans and I am looking forward to that. So this is the next thing that I got. It's by Atrium Collection. That's what the label looks like. But yeah, I just really love, you know, I love a st structured shoulders. I love this color. It looks really lovely on my skin, just holding it up like this as well. And of course, you know, these vintage gold buttons. I am a sucker for these, but yeah, this is the next thing. And finally, I did grab this um, kids jacket. Now it's so funny because when you look at the sleeves, you can see how thin they are, which clearly is for a, a little boy, but then the inside of the blazer is so wide and boxy. I'm like, why, why is it so big? But you know, it works out for me so that I have somewhere to put my boobs. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. So a lot of the female, um, a lot of the, I have two other blue one of them has silver buttons and the other one with gold just has four gold down here and they're more of a feminine silhouette which i love i still have them but i was looking for something a little more boxy a little more oversized like now that i can layer um even if i wanted to put a light sweater um top under this it would still work and not feel bulky um and i do love this more like a vintage gold um buttons on this and they're really like really structured really solid um buttons sometimes the cheaper ones when you walk they'll go ching cha ching cha ching cha ching and make that little clanging sound i just really love the weight of this i love the structure of this i love the buttons on this as well so um it says made in italy and what's that jonathan Raffante, I can't see, but this is, <laughs> I promise I can read. I just can't see what it's saying, rough something, but that's who it's made by. And, you know, whenever I see um, blazers like this, you know, it's like Celine, it's Gucci um, on the latest spring, is it spring? No, fall for Chloe. They did a nice boxy blazer like this as well and I love um it's not it's not a double breasted deep v but similar vibes and I just really really love the structure of this so that's the last thing that I got definitely a pricey one the um I asked them if Zara all Zara was 50% so he's like no it's 30 I'm like no it's 50 <laughs> but yeah I was able to get a few pieces that I really love so it was not a loss I will go back down there I just will have to know that it's a price store but they had a good fairly enough sprinkling of vintage pieces that I love so um, I'll definitely head back down South Philly 
um, and check them out. But guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check in the description box for more information on Teddy Blake bags. If you are in the market for um, a fun spring summer bag that is going to last and stay in your closet, then definitely check out the Teddy Blake website. There are quite a few other styles and designs that you know you'll definitely love. Those are the 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 cleaner, more sleek lines are really what I love, and I think those will not date, and I'll always just have them there to use. So love 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 that they're also very versatile and go with a lot of things in my closet so that's why i selected those but there are several other designs that i think you'll love the quality and the craftsmanship is there in every design so if you don't choose the ones that i have then i think you'll still get um, the benefit of that craftsmanship and quality um, in the pieces that or piece that you do select so definitely check out my description box and also use my code for an extra $30 off. As well, don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite, what piece was your favorite as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you to join the family. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.